Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different. I've come to you with five quick and easy hacks, tips or tricks that you can use in your kitchen in your day-to-day -day life. So I do hope this is helpful and if it is, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment as well. So let's begin. The first hack is with regards to the white stains that come in the vessel when you boil water. Here I am using my idli vessel but the same thing can be applied for any vessel that has you know got these stains over a period of time. This usually comes when you keep boiling water. So for that while you are making the idli before you add the water and boil it just add a small lemon sized ball of tamarind to it add water and let it boil go about cooking the idli just the normal way that you would in cases where you don't have tamarind at home you can also do the same thing with lime or vinegar just add a teaspoon of lime juice or vinegar to the water and boil it now once the idlis are done cooking i have removed the stand and i just rinse the vessel under cold normal tap water i didn't even use any dishwashing liquid or anything of that sort I just rinse it and you can see how clean and shiny my vessel has become again so this same thing can be applied for any vessel that has uh, you know developed these kind of water stains now uh, the second tip is with regards to how I clean the microwave so you can see that my microwave has become very dirty Disclaimer, I never let it become this dirty, but I had to let it go for purposes of this video. Since uh, we use the microwave a lot for uh, reheating and sometimes cooking as well, I prefer not using any uh, chemicals in it for cleaning. So what I do is, I take a glass bowl or any microwave safe bowl would do. To that, I add about a cup of water and I place it in the microwave. I set the timer for two and a half minutes and let the microwave run. And once it is done, don't open the microwave. Let it remain closed and let the steam do the work. Now, in, in certain cases where your microwave has the damp food smell to it, to get rid of that, you can also squeeze the juice of half a lime and also leave the lime itself in the water while placing the bowl in the microwave. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, open the microwave and first you need uh, to remove the bowl. Please be very careful because the water will be boiling. Also remove the glass tray that is there inside which you have to take it to the sink and wash. After that, you can use any kitchen tissue or napkin to just wipe off all the food particles inside the microwave and you will notice how very easily it comes off. There is no pressure or no scrubbing that has to be done. Just one wipe and it's all clean. So I generally do this every night before I sleep. So it keeps my microwave very clean and avoids any unpleasant odors as well. Now the next tip is with regards to using the cooker to boil dal or any pulses. This is something that I struggled with quite a lot. And ever since I happened to see this uh, hack somewhere, I have tried it and it has worked for me every single time. So you go about adding your normal dal to the vessel or any pulse for that matter. Wash it well and to that add the water. Now to the lid of the cooker, you can see that small nozzle there. Please add about one to two drops of oil and just you know apply it well around that area and close the cooker and cook it as usual this is another thing that I do 
uh, what I have here is a normal vessel stand it's a steel vessel stand that we use to place hot vessels on so I just place that around the vessel itself so in case there are a few drops of water that splashes out accidentally it is contained within that circle itself and doesn't uh, mess up my gas top or the wall around it now you can see that the dal is cooked well without any mess at all my next tip is with regards to boiling potatoes peeling the skin after boiling the potato is a big task something that I hate doing so for that what you need to do is before placing the potato to boil with the help of a knife just score the skin around the potato just like how I am doing it here after that boil the potato as you usually would Once the potato has boiled, I'm moving it to another bowl here. It was very hot, so please be careful while doing this. So all you have to do is just hold the potato with both your hands and apply a little bit of pressure. And as you can see here, the skin just slides right off. It's very easy to do and takes just about a few seconds to peel the skin of an entire potato. I do hope you try this out. This next tip is for someone like me who loves the flavor of fresh garlic but at the same time cannot handle the whole deal of sitting and peeling it every time. So here I've taken a bowl of hot water, not boiling but it is hot and to that I will add the cloves of garlic that I want to peel. So I'll let it sit for about 8 to 10 minutes after which you can start peeling the skin. And as you can see here, the skin comes out very easily and the best part is it doesn't stick to your hands. Now if it is a little larger quantity that you want to peel, you can do the same thing but instead of peeling each garlic separately, you just have to hold, take the cloves between your palms and just rub it together. So when you do that, the skin starts loosening very easily and you can just pick up the clean cloves of garlic. So these are five of my kitchen tips or tricks that I use almost every day and that has helped me quite a lot in saving time and effort. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was, please do share it with your friends and family as well. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment. Until I'm back with another video, take care, bye-bye.